to a tips and tricks video. This tips and tricks is my third in the series and I'll be teaching you guys how to create uh, or actually how to delete a, in, or a background from a stock image from websites like Google Images or Yahoo Images or if you just find any picture that you want it taken away from. Um, I'm just going to begin by going to Firefox and I found this image of the Red Sox logo. And as you can see it has a white background so I'm just going to open it up in Photoshop and I'm going to drag it onto a blank document. Now I'm just going to double, or I'm just going to go to Edit, Transform, and Scale, and just size it out like so, just so you guys can see it a little better. Um, there are a bunch of different ways that you can do this, depending on the colors. So if you guys want to check in the description, uh, I should have a couple notes in there about different colors and the different layer styles that um, you can use to get rid of backgrounds. But as far as I know, white is uh, pretty, it, there's only one or two options that you can use to get rid of the background, but as you can see there are, te there's text at the bottom, so as long as the layer is rasterized, all you have to do is select the text and hit delete and it'll be go away. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab the rectangular marquee, select the bottom portions and hit delete. Now I'm going to go to select, deselect to get rid of the selection, and I'm going to head to my fourth tool down from the top and it'll be the magic wand tool. If it's not selected or there, just right click and it'll show up. Just hit that tool and it's easy as this. Just click on the white background and press the delete button, select, deselect, and there you go. Now I'm just gonna go to uh, edit our file open. I'm gonna open that image again and I'm gonna throw it onto the background and I'm gonna scale it back to a pretty good size. Now, it's really all uh, preference, but I think you guys can do the math or whatever and see which one looks better. Um, I use this a lot during school on PowerPoints and stuff like that. I think it really does help. I'm pretty sure you guys in school have seen uh, slideshows or something where there's a big white background for a picture. But you guys can show them off and use this and help them out. Like I said, look in the description for all the notes on different colors. I know for black, you can use screen and stuff, and it'll just perfectly get away from everything. If you guys don't want to use the magic wand tool because it just looks a little choppy or something like that, you can always use the magnetic lasso tool, which is the third tool down. Just right click and select that, and you can go around, connect it up. Uh, make sure you go to select, select inverse, or um, then just hit delete like we did earlier. Or you can get crazy and use the pen tool and create like the custom shape or whatever you're looking for. Custom selection and then do the same thing. Just right click, click, select inverse after you make the selection. Hit delete and you're done. Um, thank you guys for watching this tips and tricks. I hope it helped you guys. Uh, if it did, please like the video and comment. Tell me what you guys are doing. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks guys. Addicting Arts out.